For this tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy way to put images on chalkboards. This board is from justbeyondthecottonwoods.com and it's one of several sizes that they have. I'm using uh, stencils from a local hobby shop. <clears throat> I have a deer and some lettering. I'm also um, using General's white charcoal pencils, a hand towel, and a thick dusty chalk. I also have a bowl of clean water, a um, cleaning pad, some scissors, and a Q-tip, and measuring tape. So <clears throat> this kind of board um, you need to season. Uh, all chalkboards, no matter where you get them, should probably be seasoned. This has been seasoned several times. I'm just rubbing chalk all over, getting the little crevices um, to season it so that the chalk gets down all the pores and it comes off uh, fairly easy when I need it to. And I'm just going to wipe it off with a, um, a damp cloth. Uh, I don't advise using paper towels because it can leave little uh, lint particles behind, but I'm just giving it a good clean so that my board is prepped and ready to go. Next I just need to decide where the center of my board is, so I'm going to measure it out. Um, I can do vertical, I can do horizontal, it's really up to me. Uh, I think I'll stick with vertical, so I'm just going to find the center of the board. So I'm measuring the length, I'm going to go half, <clears throat> then I'll measure the width, and do halves again. That generally gives me the center of my board. And I think I'm going to go ahead and write joy out. The one I showed you before said no L. Um, so I want something a little bit different. Joy has three letters, so I'm going to go ahead and put my O in the center. And just for fun, I'm just going to do the backward side here to get my O going in a little bit different of a direction. And I just fill in. <clears throat> um, this can sound like a turkey call, <laughs> uh, depending on how you're scraping your pencil, but I just make an outline of the letter and then I just fill in um, as I go and I can make it darker or lighter or leave some open patches or try to fill them all in. This is so simple. My three boys can do this and they enjoy creating their own images in, um, in words. Um, the next letter I'm just going to eyeball. You could measure this out if you wanted to, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to, uh, to do. <clears throat> and again, I just go through the outline of the letter and fill in the rest. Um, every hobby shop, for the most part, has different types of stencils, so you can get seasonal or um, you can get different fonts, all kinds of animals, and just lots of neat ways to um, be creative in your home. What I love about the chalkboard is it's not paint. Um, this chalk comes right off. I've used, I, my preference for chalk is the fat chalk, and um, then these uh, pencils are my second favorite because of the sharp point I can get with them. Uh, I do not like to use uh, dustless or dust-free chalk. It just doesn't leave enough residue. Um, and it's really hard to to work with, but this white charcoal pencil is uh, is a great find. So here's my joy, and I'm going to go ahead and position the deer on here, and you'll see that this has more detail to it. So this is where a fine point really comes in, um, and so I just reach that tip into all the little crevices of this deer, <coughs> and you know I don't have to use the entire stencil. I could just put the deer head on there or I could just use the um, the uh, little leaves that are on either side. I could do one or the other. I enjoy using them both. Um, it's a lot of fun to play around with and the fun part is if I mess up it's really easy to fix. If I was painting this I have to be real careful about getting my hand in the paint or it smearing or drying too fast or having to do several layers to um, uh, to get the look that I wanted. I might have to seal it for it to be permanent. So I just really enjoy uh, the versatility with chalk and I hope you will too. 
you can see how easy it is to just get in um, inside of all those little places. And what I'll do when I take the stencil off is I'll just kind of freehand any places that I didn't connect well or um, that might be a little off with something like this deer antler. The tines are actually a little tricky to fill in, so I kind of have to go back over and um, place those in after I take my stencil off. I think this look took about seven minutes, um, which is pretty quick and and, uh, and easy, and. I'll probably keep this look around for a little bit um, during the winter season then I'll take it off and find something new to do for New Year's. Um, <clears throat> that's what I love about this is just how frequently I can change this one board up and um, I think next time I'll probably go horizontal with it. Um, as I'm finishing up here I'm kind of looking at the whole piece and need to fix a couple things. Um, I have a few areas where the chalk is still showing, um, where I marked my middle ground that I need to kind of touch up on. So it's nice to dip a little Q-tip in some water and wipe those sections off real easily. Um, any smudge marks where my hand may have touched down, I can get those off pretty easily. And um, if I decide that, you know, I want the deer head to be on top, that's easy enough too. I can just um, either add another one or I can start my project over and go for what I want to do. I wanted to show you one thing with chalk is sometimes it leaves a residue on certain surfaces. So what I like to do is uh, wipe the entire area off that I want to get rid of with my towel again. <coughs> and, um, pressed down a little, a little bit, but you can see the residue it's leaving behind. I'd be pretty frustrated if um, I went to change things and I still had all of this after I wiped it down. But don't fear, get your magic um, cleaner eraser and you can just go over it with that and start all over and design away. Make a whole new, whole new design. Sometimes you have to go over um, once or twice with the magic clean eraser. Um, and sometimes you have to give it a little bit more force. It just depends on uh, what kind of chalk you've used in the past and things. So I'm ready to go create again.